Hey there do-it-yourself technicians. Today we're doing part three in the location tracker series with my tag. Next on our tag list is the Australian owned my tag. This is a nice solid but light device and has a big strong hole through it to attach whatever it is that you need to. Compared with the air tag, the setup was a little bit more complicated but then there's a whole bunch of extra features to set up. The MyTag has this little button in the corner that you can press to find your phone. It also has separation alerts. Although during initial testing, we did have some issues with this feature where it would alert the keys, but not the phone. I believe this might've been a known bug with specific phones and they're awaiting Apple Store approval for a fix to be pushed out. They have a silent zone option, but rather than a radius from a specific point, they actually use Wi-Fi networks. So the silent zone is the area in which your device can connect to a specific Wi-Fi network. So I tell it when I'm at home and connected to my home Wi-Fi, it's the silent zone. This works for me even better at work. Because my building is really long and thin, if I were to set a radius, it would actually have to be quite large to encompass the whole building. But the Wi-Fi network is much closer around the edges of the building and so is a much tighter zone. I really like this idea. The MyTag software has an option to open a camera app. And when you do, the button on the MyTag becomes a remote for your camera. So you can take photos using a selfie button with just your key ring. Of course, it's using their camera app, not the standard camera app, which may have some downsides, but realistically, for most things you want to take a selfie, it doesn't matter. There's a heap of different versions of the MyTag, ranging from the smaller, lighter, and less expensive Classic, the Edge, which we tested, the Sport, and the more elegant Style. They even have family packs with a few of each, so the whole family can get found. Using this tag alerted me to a new location technology which I hadn't heard of before, called What Three Words. And I'll have another video about it in the upcoming weeks, which you'll find a link to here when it's ready. I have to say we did have some glitches with the MyTag software, but in speaking to the super responsive tech support people, we caught them right on the transition from a foreign made app to a brand new Australian written from the ground up app. The software is literally version 1.0.0 at the time of recording. The support team were excellent, so I'm sure further updates will iron out the bugs. I nearly forgot about the SOS alerts. This is a feature where you can press the button on the My Tag three times and it will send a text with your location to a set of emergency contacts that you have preset in the app. And it will also ring your phone to let you know that the message has been sent. Of course, this only works if the tag is within Bluetooth range of the phone. And there is a small subscription charge for this service. $2.99 per month. In addition to the MyTag, the company also has another product called ResQR that I'll do an episode on shortly. Look for that up here when it's ready. In summary, it was quite inexpensive to buy and I really like the through hole for attachment. The software was a little immature, but the support was absolutely amazing. While I have your attention, I'd love your help. I love making these videos, but to be honest, they're a lot of work. I've paid for each of these tags out of my own pocket. While I do very occasionally earn a little bit of income from affiliate links, it in no way comes close to making up for the time and money that I've invested in this channel. There's a link up here and in the comments down below to our support page, where you can find a bunch of ways that you can say thank you and support the channel, and not all of them cost money. I'd love your help. Question of the day, do you lose stuff? Would you look at buying something like this? Let me know in the comments down below, and if this video was helpful to you, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys, and fix it when it breaks. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's some older videos you may not have seen before, here and here. And you can subscribe to our channel by clicking down here 
and our mailing list by clicking up here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next episode.